Besides splitting your project into floor levels, it is also important to be able to split your project into zones. Uh, for example, for the various phases that you want to recognize or uh, to define work areas where your crews will work in later on during the scheduling phase. You define floors in uh, a view mode that we call the uh, floor plan view, uh, which provides a convenient 2D uh, floor plan view uh, of the elevation on which you want to define your zone. And in this video, I will explain how you use this tool. In this video, I will use the floor plan view to define zones in the Vico Office project. Zones are defined with simple 2D boundary lines. Before I draw these lines, I will set cut height and view depth of the floor that I will be working on to make sure that all the geometry that I need to draw these lines is visible. In the LBS Manager uh, we can see the floor levels that we defined in the previous video. So we got foundation floor 1, 2, and 3 and they highlight as I select them in the location breakdown structure over here. Now I want to create zones on the foundation level and the elevation of the foundation level is minus 22 feet. Now to see a 2D view at, um, at this level I activate the floor plan view and when I do that at this point it is empty and that is because uh, the cut height is defined as 4 feet over this value and there is no geometry to be found there so this piece is empty so what I need to do is change the cut height, I will change that to 20 feet and that places the um, dynamically created uh, cut, the uh, dynamically created floor plan at 20 feet above the minus 22 elevation. So when I start the floor plan view uh, again now, so I can also do that from the ribbon, uh, I will see the, uh, the pat footings that are part of the foundation structure. Seeing that geometry makes it easier for me to um, draw the polylines that define the, the boundaries of the, uh, the zones that I want to create. Besides the cut height, I can also define the view depth. And view depth is the distance below the elevation value uh, that I want to see uh, when I generate my floor plan. So if there is anything below the elevation uh, that I need in order to draw uh, my zone boundaries using polylines, I increase that value. Right now that is not needed, so I leave it as it is. So in order to draw a zone, I click the Add Polyline button, and that changes the cursor in the 3D view, right now 2D view, into a pencil. As you can see, snapping is activated, uh, so I can snap to geometry or to the bounding box, which is the black line. So the black line represents the boundary of the foundation location. If I would like to make changes to the snaps, I can make that here. I can disable the snap or uh, disable some of the uh, options that are currently active. So let's remove the midpoint and I can snap, as I said, to the boundary of the previous location and then simply draw lines from one side to the other and uh, while drawing boundary lines you have to uh, make sure that the lines are either connected to a boundary so from one side to the other side or they create a, a closed loop uh, so kind of an island inside a project location it always needs to be a full split and that can be completed. So let's draw another line here um, from the LBS ribbon at polyline and I'm going to create another zone right here and I snap to the previously defined uh, boundary. I press the enter key to complete the location and when you look in the foundation node you see that a number of new zones have been created now all these zones have an exclamation mark that means that the model needs to be updated and the model information needs to be updated in order to view the zones that were created we'll do that in the next video 
During this video, I created three zones by drawing two boundary lines that split the parent foundation location. Before I did that, I activated the floor plan view mode for the foundation location and changed the cut height so that the geometry in that location became visible, which then allowed me to determine where the zone boundaries would have to go.